Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most advanced, most secretive, and most heavily customized fighter jets ever built. The Israeli F-35I Adir. This aircraft is not just another variant of the F-35. It is the only version in the world allowed to be deeply modified by a foreign nation. And Israel didn't waste a single second taking full advantage of that freedom. What they created is a stealth beast that can see farther, strike harder, hack enemy systems, and dominate the Middle Eastern skies like nothing else ever has. So buckle up, because this is the story of how Israel took the world's most advanced fifth generation fighter jet and turned it into something even the United States didn't expect. The F-35 Iadir begins its story when Israel became the first foreign customer to order the F-35. But unlike other nations, Israel had specific needs. The threats they face are unique. Dense air defense networks, rapidly evolving missile systems, and a constant need to strike targets at long range. That reality demanded an F-35 that wasn't just powerful but adaptable, flexible, and independent. Israel wanted a jet that could be upgraded locally, equipped with its own weapons, and seamlessly integrated with its unique combat technology. This meant breaking open one of the world's most protected systems and rebuilding parts of it from the inside out. The heart of the customization lies in Israel's electronic warfare suite. While the F-35 already has an unmatched onboard EW system, the Adia takes it further with Israeli. Built sensors, jammers, processors, and algorithms, these additions allow the Adia to operate in some of the most hostile airspace in the world. It can detect and analyze enemy radar profiles instantly, jam multiple threats simultaneously, and deceive missile systems in real time. Instead of relying entirely on American software updates, Israel can patch, improve, or rewrite its electronic warfare system whenever it needs to something no other F-35 operator can do. It's a level of autonomy that is extremely rare and highly valuable. One of the most fascinating upgrades to the Adir is its open architecture mission computer. In simple terms, Israel rewired the jet's digital brain to accept custom software. This means Israeli pilots can see different data on their helmet and screens than American pilots. Information from Israeli satellites, drones, and intelligence networks flows directly into the jet in real time, creating a complete battlefield picture. The jet doesn't just receive data. It analyzes and redistributes it across Israel's entire military network. The Adir isn't just a fighter, it is a flying command center, constantly feeding intelligence into the national defense system. Then there's the weapon customization. The Adir uses weapons no other F-35 carries. Israel integrated its own air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, some of which remain classified. Among the known ones is the Python 5, an advanced dogfight missile with extreme maneuverability, something that fits perfectly with the F-35's high-tech targeting system. Israel also integrated the Spice Guided Bomb, which uses electro-optical scene, matching for accuracy, allowing the jet to strike even in GPS, jammed environments. These weapons give the Adir an edge in missions where stealth, precision, and long range effectiveness are crucial. Even the datalink systems inside the Adir are Israeli, designed. Israel's own communication protocols allow the F-35I to coordinate with helicopters, drones, and ground systems in a way that standard F-35s cannot. That means when a drone spots a target, the Adir can strike it instantly. When ground forces need air support, the jet receives the coordinates and mission updates automatically. This level of real-time integration accelerates decision-making on the battlefield and allows Israel to conduct complex multi main operations with exceptional efficiency. Another critical advantage Israel pushed for was independent maintenance. The U.S. originally designed the F-35 to rely heavily on the American, controlled Ollie's logistics system, but Israel demanded access to its own maintenance data and full control over the repair process. That request was approved, and Israel built the ability to diagnose and fix the aircraft locally. This independence is vital because it ensures Israel can keep its jets operational, even during major conflicts or global supply chain disruptions. 
No delays, no restrictions, no waiting for another nation to approve repairs. The Adir was also modified to support external fuel tanks. This upgrade may sound simple, but it's a massive advantage for long-range missions. With more range, the Adir can strike deep into hostile territory while staying in stealth mode until the last possible moment. For a country that must assume every mission could involve long distances and multiple threats, extended range capabilities are a game changer. What truly sets the Adir apart is how it blends stealth with aggressive offensive capabilities. The F-35's design already makes it difficult for enemy radars to detect, but Israel's added systems make the jet even harder to track. Its electronic warfare tools can manipulate radar signatures, create false targets, or mask entire flight paths. Combined with its stealth shape and advanced coatings, the Adia can appear like a small bird on radar, or not appear at all. In a region filled with modern air defense systems, this kind of invisibility is priceless. The Adir's cockpit environment is another place Israel made improvements. Pilots have access to custom interfaces, enhanced displays, and software tuned to match Israel's style of air combat. The jet's helmet, already one of the most advanced pieces of aviation technology on Earth, receives Israeli data overlays that provide real time updates on threats, targets, and mission status. Pilots describe the sensation as having God's view of the battlefield, where the jet becomes an extension of the pilot's mind rather than a machine they operate. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of the Adir is how Israel uses it in real combat. While some countries treat their F-35s as strategic assets reserved for major conflicts, Israel operates the Adir like a frontline workhorse, it has already conducted numerous combat missions, including deep strike operations in hostile territory. These real-world missions refine its software, shape its tactics, and push its capabilities further. Every mission becomes a day-to-gathering opportunity that feeds back into the customization cycle. The more the Adir flies, the smarter and more capable it becomes. Israel also uses the Adir as a testbed for six-generation technologies, new sensors, new missiles, new electronic warfare modules, and even potential drone. Swarming integration are being trialed on the F-35I. By continuously upgrading rather than waiting for major modernization cycles, Israel ensures its Adir fleet stays ahead of emerging threats. It's a constantly evolving platform, not a static aircraft. Another underappreciated change is how Israel modified the jet's stealth coatings for local climate conditions. The Middle East's extreme heat, dust, and sand can stress the aircraft's skin. Israeli engineers developed maintenance processes and materials designed specifically for the region's environment. This means the Adir maintains its stealth properties more reliably and with less downtime, giving Israel a readiness advantage other nations don't have. The Adir's significance extends beyond hardware. It represents a shift in how modern air power is used. It's not about having the fastest jet or the most missiles. It's about information dominance, network warfare, and being able to control the battlefield from the first second of the fight. Israel's modifications turn the F-35 into a strategic asset capable of influencing entire operations across land, air, sea, and cyberspace. It's a weapon designed not just to win dogfights, but to win wars before they even begin. One of the most closely guarded aspects of the Adir is its cyber capabilities. While details are classified, experts believe Israel integrated offensive and defensive cyber tools that enable the aircraft to disrupt enemy communications, sensors, or command systems mid-mission. In a world where digital warfare is as critical as physical firepower, the ability to attack systems from the sky is a tremendous advantage. The Adir doesn't just fly into battle, it hacks the battlefield. Even the way the aircraft communicates is unique. Israel developed a special data link that allows the Adir to interact with platforms built decades apart. Older fourth, generation jets, uncrewed aerial vehicles, naval ships, and ground units can all share information with the F-35I in real time. This unified network transforms Israel's military into a single connected machine where every platform enhances every other platform, the radar on the Adir, while fundamentally American, has been enhanced with Israeli software. 
It can detect small, low-signature targets including drones, cruise missiles, and even some stealth aircraft. As drone warfare becomes more common, this is essential. The radar upgrades allow the Adir to act as a hunter for threats that smaller systems cannot track reliably. Another area where Israel excels is mission planning. Israel's custom software lets planners upload new flight paths, threat maps, and target data in minutes rather than hours. This rapid adaptability means the Adir can launch time sensitive missions faster than other F-35 fleets. In a region where opportunities and threats change instantly, speed is a weapon in itself. The internal communication system of the jet was also modified for enhanced encryption and higher bandwidth. This ensures that even in electronic warfare environments, the Adir maintains a secure link with command centers and other aircraft. Losing communication in combat can be deadly, and Israel ensured that its version of the F-35 stays connected even under intense jamming. One of the biggest reasons Israel needed customization is simple, geography. The country is small, surrounded by potential threats, and must respond to crises rapidly. There is no time for delays, no margin for system failures, and no room for relying on foreign support for essential upgrades. Israel built the Adir to be a fully independent system, tailored for a nation that lives in a state of constant readiness. Another major customization is the ability to rapidly upgrade software without waiting for you. S. Approval cycles. Israel can roll out patches instantly, fixing vulnerabilities or improving performance on the fly. This creates a faster innovation cycle where lessons learned in training today become software updates tomorrow. In an era where cyber threats and missile systems evolve monthly, this agility is priceless. The maintenance architecture also includes local training systems, simulators, and diagnostic equipment built by Israeli companies. Pilots train in simulators that use real mission data, giving them highly accurate combat environment recreations. This level of realism dramatically improves combat readiness and mission success rates. One more strength of the Adir lies in its survivability. Stealth, electronic warfare, and advanced sensors make it extremely difficult for enemies to even locate the aircraft. But on top of that, Israel added layers of redundancy and backup capabilities to ensure the jet remains operational even under severe threat. This aligns with Israel's doctrine of preserving pilot safety above all else. As tensions rise in the region, the Adir has become central to Israel's strategy, whether deterring enemy forces, striking Hive, al U targets, or gathering intelligence, the Adir does it all. It's not just a tool for war, but a guardian that provides Israel with an unmatched aerial advantage. For adversaries, the presence of an Adir in the sky means they are already at a disadvantage. The true power of the Adir lies not in a single upgrade, but in how all upgrades blend together to create a platform that is smarter, faster, more connected, and more adaptable than any other fighter in the world. It represents the future of air power, one where information, cyber capabilities, stealth, and precision come together seamlessly. In the end, the Israeli F-35 Iadir is more than a modified aircraft. It is a symbol of innovation. Israel took a jet already considered the most advanced in the world and pushed it further. They created something unique, powerful, and perfectly suited to the challenges they face. And as technology continues to evolve, so will the Adir, constantly adapting, constantly improving, and constantly staying one step ahead of any threat. And that is why the F-35i Adir stands today as the most customized F-35 on the planet. A jet built to dominate the skies and protect a nation with unmatched precision and power.